Hi, thank you so much for joining me. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations and I am just trying to set up my other device so that I can catch up with comments. They get easily missed um, when you're on YouTube because they come and then they disappear. So welcome, particularly if this is your first time, do say hello. It's a great company and it's great to find out where people are coming in from. <laughs> which means I get to use and sell and create with some amazing products. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. Okay, maybe I am. But after years of crafting and coming across this company, I can appreciate the quality, the coordination and the designs that they come out with. So, excuse me, I've got itchy nose. <laughs> so, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm going to do some prep before I came on. Before you disappear i just want to or forward the video if you're watching this on replay i just wanted to explain what i'm doing and why i'm doing it i wanted to come on because i'm aware that sometimes when people search for videos or just come into the live video they don't know what they're watching and this is just to give you an idea from scratch what happens. so if you are a stamper and you know exactly what to do you might want to skip this bit if you're watching the replay but for those of you who are joining me live you are this is me i am live it's just gone nine in the uk <laughs> okay so i just sometimes it's so easy to get caught up in what we do that we forget to explain it i'm just gonna i can see people popping on saying hello i'm not ignoring you i'm just gonna do a great big hello to debs linda Jeannie, sheila vanessa nadia carol Tina, Kay and Ali and anyone else who's going to pop on um, Wendy. Um, so thank you for joining me. So this is the stamps that we're going to use and you might be used to the traditional red rubber stamps. So they've kind of upped their game, the stamping world, and they've produced these red rubber stamps which you can mount on these acrylic blocks. So they provide a, a sheet of stickers that you put on the back of your um, Stamps make them nice and sticky. Not only can you see them in the box, but they will cling to your acrylic blocks. So I've got an idea and I'm so prepared that I forgot to get my paper out of the drawer, which I'll have to do in a minute. Um, and I'm going to actually grab some more blocks um, because I don't know what this design is going to be like. Actually, I probably don't need that one. Okay, so keeping it fairly simple, I've got this idea I want to test out. I'm just going to grab out some Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock because their cardstock is so smooth and it's the right... Excuse me. I'm rolling on my glitter paper, which I don't want to do. It's the right um, smoothness and porosity Ooh, <laughs> for stamping on. Red Rubber is beautiful for details thank you Deborah. it always surprises me because i started with strictly photopolymer now photopolymer you might have seen or you might not have seen are clear stamps wendy says are you still wearing your crown so for those of you who don't know what she's on about i was just on facebook live and i got a crown on my head it's very exciting so i was going to talk to you from scratch the other thing i've got up here beside me if i grabbed out my whole um lot of um <laughs> ink pads because it's like ah I don't actually know what I'm going to use I just grab them all out so the other th thing that you might look might seem familiar is these post-it notes here now I'm going to grab a few pages worth I don't know how many just grabbed a few and we're going to stamp directly onto our um, post-it notes now when you stamp on the post-it notes the idea is so that you are stamping where the sticky bit is because we're going to cut that bit out I'm using black memento ink and I'm going in with this poppy design, making sure, like I said, that I'm going to cover part of the design onto that sticky bit. Cindy's bringing her lunch to join me. What's for lunch today, Cindy? Now, it doesn't matter that that's not stamped properly because I don't need that image. It's just, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. It's just that I know where, oh, that's a bit close. Okay, I'm going to stamp those on a separate page because they're a bit too close. <clears throat> because I'm going to cut these out with what are called dies, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Again, trying to get the most of the sticky bit there. Right. So, these are dies. 
and these are like metal shapes that actually match the stamps and will fit around them so I can easily cut them out and you've got all these other lovely pretty labels and they've got leaves as well oh Vicky thank you so much my super chat is now enabled which means Vicky has just kindly donated 2 99 which will go two dollars two dollars ninety nine and which will go straight into my stamp up business um for um enabling me to keep showing and sharing ideas and buy new products now i should really mark this so i don't spend ages going round and round the bend trying to figure out how this oh there you go so these dies fit on top and i'm going to bring in the beast i don't always bring them on screen but i'm going <laughs> to show you my massive die cutting machine thank you so much vicky um you can support me by PayPal as well, just incidentally. I know the link below isn't quite right. I think you've got to put the proper HTTP thingy in. I've missed that. Somebody said something about post-it notes. Have you seen the post-it notes that are 95% sticky in just a, and just a band of plain post-it? I think I have. I think they call them... Sorry, I just realised how close you are then. Let's draw you out. Oh, that's so much better. I didn't realise I zoomed in with the camera. Okay, so this is called a big shot. This is a die cutting machine. So you need this kind of machine, it doesn't have to be this particular, to cut out these shapes that we're going to put around the stamped image. So if I ignore your comments, please don't be offended. I'm trying to craft at the same time and keep up with you. So um, I do try and catch your comments, but um, if I don't catch it, just type it again. And sometimes, you know, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing and not the comments. So as you can see, that cuts out the dies. And now you've got lots of lovely layers of those sticky notes to use in the project. OK, so I just wanted to show you that in case you've never seen that before. Because sometimes people might stumble across your channel, never seen what I'm doing before, especially doing a live as well. So we're going to use those in a bitty. Right, next up, we're going to get some of our plain paper. Now, I was tempted to cut this in half. Sometimes people get intimidated by a big, plain, white sheet of paper like that. And somebody laughing at my gaffer tape. Janice, I know. I was, the handle got a little bit... Um, excuse me, this was from my project before. My handle was getting too grubby that it was annoying me, so I've covered it. And there might be a new... Um, machine on the horizon so I'm holding out I'm going to cut my paper in oh that's not half in half because I find one it's less intimidating <laughs> I've been told off that I'm not putting my dies back in the packet um, the platform I use was magnetic so I've left them on there and I will put them back thank you Miss Kay um yeah, sorry. Um, sometimes it can be intimidating having a whole sheet of A4. So if you feel intimidated or you feel scared to stamp on it or do whatever, cut it in half. Then you've only got half the paper you're dealing with and not, um, not a whole load. <laughs> Everyone's worried that I'm going to lose my dive. Okay, so this is what we've got. We're going to use that ink again. And I'm going to lay down a design with the flowers, the poppies. Um, I might, might, might add the speckly one. Okay, so let's get something. In fact, I could really do with a scrappy sheet underneath because I don't like my... Look how brand new this is, look. So this is called a piercing mat and it's like a foam pad so you can use it for, with a piercing tool, like a, a pricky tool, or um, it's just a great flat surface for when you want to do your stamping. That's not big enough. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna find a an older pad, but I don't mind getting a bit more scuffed up. There you go. I'm gonna save the new one. Just makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> Ruth said that she did half half of a half earlier. Half or one hashtag half or one cheap one. Absolutely. Like I said, it's less intimidating, takes up less time, and if you're not happy with it, you know, you've always got the other one to work with. Half a sheet Esther, 12 by 12 Ruth. I like that, it's funny. So if you don't know who Ruth is, who I'm talking to, Artful Stamping, um, she's my sister and happens to be what's called my upline. So um, Ruth became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator first. 
and I joined afterwards. Let me concentrate. Um, <laughs> and Ruth has her own channel. So if you want to catch what she did for her half one sheet wonder, you can go and do that. Making a mess already. So I'm just laying down these poppy images. And um, in February, I'm doing a painted poppies offer. So in February, if you're local, you can come along to my class. But if you're not, if you're in the UK and still interested in what I'm going to do or would like to order, you can. Let me just tell you about that. Well, oh, let you come. Janice is all about the quarter sheet wonders. <laughs> so there's I'm doing three different tiers. Um, tier one is you get the bundles. So what I'm using tonight, the stamps and the dies for £48.50. And if you are local, you can come to my workshop for free. Uh, the next set is the stamp set only. So you don't get the metal dies, but there's plenty you can do with the stamp set. And the other tier is just to have come along to the class, have a play and use the projects. Now, if you aren't um, local, but you're still interested in particularly the, the two tiers here, then I can post for an extra five pounds, post um, the materials to you that we would use in the class and probably do some videos so you can give you a bit of a tutorial as well. OK, right, let's get back to it. Um, I'm tempted. I might leave this one out. And just do some leaves. Now, I know that I've not done a mask for the leaves. Like This is a very juicy ink pad. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to work with it. I'm going to start off simple, not too intimidating. Because this is all about giving it a go. Stamp ink some paper. Now you can also share this video out even afterwards. If you oh that was a good idea, I'd like to share that with a friend. Do you know you can? You can certainly do that. I'm just going in because I'm adding. That leaf looked a little bit lonely. Lonely. There's a song about that, isn't it? I better not start singing because I might be done for royalties. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, hmm. Oh, more. Do not keep it simple, Zester. The ink pad said new on the lid. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> it did say new because I've got another black memento and I didn't want to get them mixed up. That's my sticker to remind me that's the new one. That's my more inky one. That's why. Right, so where are those masks we've got? <laughs> it means one is in a, in, I can't even say that, in a, inebriated, that's the word. Right, let's line up these. Now, I might not have enough. Now, remember, I grabbed out a whole load. Oh, this is going to get complicated, isn't it? Let's keep this fairly straight. And then we've got to concentrate this bit because if I move it, I'm not going to be able to figure out which way these poppies go. Sure enough, I don't have a mask, but that's okay. We'll just keep having to shunt them around a little bit. I've got the page, so I'm going to have to stick it to something. There we go. It's just going swimmingly right now, isn't it? <laughs> right. Gives new meaning to half sheet to the wind. Oh. Means, oh, means one is inebriated. I thought you were talking about my ink pad was inebriated. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you for sharing it out. <laughs> that's so funny right the other thing i want to introduce you tonight is this sponge prayer look spongy i think you get <coughs> excuse me i think you get two handles and is it three sponges hey there mr bobby great to have your company now it'll be a little bit of an issue trying to do it on here but i'm gonna go with it now i thought i'm just gonna go uh should we go mary merlot poppy parade what are people thinking what colour? What red would you like? Good morning, Jackie. Hi, Maureen. Plus, I've got Merry Merlot here. I'm tempted to do that. Let 
let's just see if it, this, it does look like a red sponge yeah okay when we are using the brayer you want to roll and pick up roll and pick up so this way you're getting a full rotation of your sponge roller it took me a minute to figure out what you were talking about yeah me too sheila so you're rolling and picking up the color okay so you don't go back and forth because all that would happen is it'll only go on one side okay um you you're pushing about halfway okay so if you push any further what's going to happen is that handle will scrape your ink pad which you don't want it to do and yes you can ask me how i found out because i do like to answer that question <laughs> thank you sandra four sponges and two four sponges going up you get four sponges which makes more sense than three sponges and two handles and like you might have seen you can pop them out and and change the um doofers the sponges i've meant mine out and crafting along while listening to you great sandra's using hers greetings from new hi there pamela i'm with you wendy i have my priorities <laughs> oh are you are you all talking about the drink now right so i am gonna have to move this over because i wasn't to try not to get ink on my oh look i've got a smudge never mind we'll work when you are oh thank you i'm sorry i've got to talk and then sandra gave me a great tip that said they fit really nicely in a wood mount case which is this size here and i've been putting mine in a um a stamping up nice and this was an old um what's it called pencil case so when you start with your your sponge break because it's very inky you want to start off your page i know it sounds daft but it just takes off the excess and then you can start rolling onto your page okay just keep rolling upwards roll up roll up <laughs> now you might look like a hot mess at the moment but trust me just keep trusting that process oh no it slipped oh, oh. <laughs> okay let's just fix that now i'm gonna have to this is moved oh it's moved i know i should do it without the mat but i know i've got a really bum that all all this forget I'm going to go up over to about halfway because I haven't masked. Can you guys see? Wendy says she'll catch up later. Oh, no worries. So don't worry about the streaks. Don't freak out, okay? I'm going to add some more ink. And I'm going to go back on the bottom and work my way along. Now, this sponge is a little bit dodgy. It's got a funny curve in it. Now, what you can do with these techniques is to lay down more colour at one end. And then you've got a really cool ombre. So I'm going to leave that like that, I think. A tad bit streaky, but the more you roll, now you, again, you don't want to press down like really hard because <coughs> you end up skidding rather than rolling. So what I'm going to do is peel this off. It's pretty already. <laughs> oh, April. <laughs> Look, I love this bit with masking. This is the great reveal. So we're going to, don't get rid of these, we're going to save these. Now remember, I knew I was going to cover up those leaves. There are leaf dyes if you don't want those covered up, but look. Look how effective it is. We got a top on Sunday, which had, like a, I had this idea first, and then I got a top that had this, like a similar thing. So let's lay, lay down our masks again. And Oh look, I should have paid more attention to where it was going, <laughs> rather than just peeling them off. Right. Now, what I was talking about ombre, I'm going to put the color. And we've got enough masks here. I might get away with masking that one. Oh, it's annoying when you've got to undo all your work, but sometimes it makes you work better by having to do something again. And particularly with stamping stuff, I found sometimes it it, it kind of works to an advantage sometimes. I mean, I know um, Wendy was mentioning wasn't stamping, but um, she, I think she was crocheting a blanket or something. Okay, I'm gonna try hard not to let that slip. Now, what I would like to do, I was talking to Ruth earlier about aversion to certain colors. 
And I think my colour aversion is um, like orange, oranges, orange type colours. So I am going to bite one's bullet and um, look, this might look ready and it probably is a bit red, but I'm going to use it for orange because look, you can just rub off the ink and get the excess off. Frogging means pulling the crochet out when you make a mistake. Yeah, but what it stands for something, doesn't it? So I'm going to go in with terracotta tile. And again, just give it about, I don't know, 20 rolls, especially if it's um, a new colour. It does pick up the ink quite quickly. Somebody counting how many rolls I'm doing. <laughs> now, we could come in this end. Oh, I've got all sorts of marks on here. So professional. And... Actually, I'm going to flip this over so it's not distracting. Remember, start off your page first. Just get that excess off before coming onto your paper. And then if you keep going, you can meet in the middle with that Merry Merlot. And those colours you'll find. I'm going to keep going across a little bit. Oh, don't go over the, mask, the unmasked bit. We'll merge together. I'm going to go in again, pick up some more colour, rolling in one direction. <laughs> I love the colour of white, I think it really makes it pop. So this does, you know, take your time over this. I think this is worth the look though, and you can really and get a fun look with that masking technique. Okay, shall we peel this off and see what we've got? It probably looks a little bit paler on screen than it is in real life. That's probably a bit more. There you go. Here we go. Wow, that is so cool. Doesn't it look like a print? That's probably because it is a print. Yeah, I've seen prints like this before. How cool is that? I like that. It could make a really cool like notebook cover or something. Right, let's do more. Let's do more. It's so much fun. Right, I'm going to try and do this one. It's a little bit easier. Should I try on my bumpy surface? Let's do it. Let's try on my bumpy surface. Okay, this time we might add some more detail. So we're going to go in with the big poppy again. Now, how many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go in with this smaller poppy. I should have cut out some more, shouldn't I? Oh, Vanessa, thank you. I've just looked up on my screen and I've noticed that you've so kindly super chatted. Thank you so much. That's really kind. And um, Vanessa calls these lessons. She treats them as if we're in a class together. You're at my class and I'm teaching you what you can do with your stamps. Made a boo-boo, but hey. I like it just like this, actually. Should we just leave it like this, folks? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, or six on there. Oh, well. Might just have to do half again. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, I was going to add some more. Let's do some leaves. Um, let me think. Remember, you, you can go back and add to your design. This is really super juicy. I might even be brave and bring on some splatters. Just to add to the design now, I know we're going to brayer over it. 
I want the boldness of the black to shine through. Um, do I want anything else? Let's have a little think. I'm very tempted with this stump here, but just the top. Now, um, I have done some one sheet wonders with this and bigger ones. So if you're interested in that, uh, I think, yeah, it's, it's on my channel already. I'm just going to do the top of that. I'm not going to mask that bit off either. That would just be too fiddly. I just needed that something something. April says, I wasn't going to get this set, but you've changed my mind. Oh, April. I would apologise, but it just means that my, my work here is done, you know? If I've helped somebody like it's, it's all good. I'm going to add a bit of more flats because something's missing. There. Right, I'd really like to see i'm excited to see what this looks like with these poppies covered over too <coughs> i learned from my mistakes oh look it's stuck to the table and do the blank ones first because they're easier to position the blank ones i have to stick to the table Actually, that's a good way of making it stick to the table. April said, you, you did a wonderful job. Thank you. I did a wonderful job of encouraging you to buy a stamp set that you initially had dismissed. There we go. Look, you can reuse these from, let's <laughs> say, yet a year. Is that an even, is that a thing? Previous years. Yet a year, is that, a, is that English? Maybe I'm not even speaking English. It's going to be beautiful. Cheryl's got um, faith in me already. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Okay. No, that wasn't too bad, was it? That wasn't too painful. Managed to do that. Okay. I'm thinking like blues or something. Kind of really cool. Let's see if I've got a bluey sponge. Peacock. Oh, that peacock is my favourite colour. What, what colour should we have? What blue should we have? Shout now or forever hold your peace. Or we could go purple. Oh, excuse me for your name. That's really rude. Come on, guys, there's loads of you on here. What colour would you like? Pacific or peacock. Okay. I was thinking the same, so maybe we can do a little bit of both. Tempting turquoise. Oh, that's a an old colour we don't have anymore. Don't mention the tempting turquoise. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a bit of pretty peacock. Let me think. What colour is this? My sponges could probably do with a good old wash. Pacific point. Okay, I'm going to start off with a little bit of peacock at the bottom because it's one of my fave colours. Love this colour. Just roll it off a little bit. Can you guys see okay? Now, because we've used this mask before, sometimes you've got to be a little bit careful that it doesn't... You don't catch it when you're rolling it with the brayer. I can put quite enough ink on that. Okay, way. <laughs> Hello there, Rini. It's Linda's favourite colour. Yeah, I do like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go as far as there. Then look, like I say, all you have to do is just pull it out slightly, and it takes your sponge out on each end. And you could just hook on like that. Another one. And you get two of these handles, two, and four sponges. 
somebody's gonna have to tell me the price so if you're interested in buying the inks the stamps the brayers I'm putting in the order this Friday the 31st of January 2020 um, and you can add this to your order if you like I'm just gonna rub off a little bit on the side there what was that? What I? Why are you there? Got something on? Did you see that? Oh, oh I picked something up. Never mind. Going with it, folks. So make me really smudged it up. Then did you see that? Now I think a nice lighter blue at the top. Don't we think? Oh, thank you, Sandra. You are on it. Sandra is there with the catalogue telling me the prices. £7.50, two handles, four sponges. So you don't have to keep changing every time you want a different colour. You can just have like, um, actually what I am going to do, sorry, is just go back and add a bit more pretty peacock. Pretty peacock. As one of my other demonstrator friends would say. <laughs> I need to let that merge a little bit more. There we go. You should see my desk. It's covered. A total mess. Catalogues on the chair beside me. So Sandra. Because that's how Sandra talks. No, not really. I'm just joking. Right. <laughs> what colour is this? What do we use for that? Oh, uh, well, I'll just use it. Now I'm going to move up the some of the masks. Ooh. I'm going to move up these to cover these up here. And which one, which other one should we move? Let's move that one sticking down my page rather nicely. So let's move this one here. Oh, Linda, thank you. She said, this is fun. And she super chatted me. Five dollars. Thank you. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you. So I'm bringing in the Bermuda Bay. So it's not tempting to have oh, What's going on here? Look, it's not on. Properly. I got distracted by my super chat. Thank you so much, Linda. Remember, just get the excess off. So be careful because you might pick up colour doing that. So um, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down and see what we can do here. I love this colour combination. A few years ago when I went to a Stampin' Up! event, I did like a whole load of brayering to swap um, a project with other demonstrators. Um, and yeah, it's all worth it. There, right, that'll do. So we've got the ready orangey one. Just stick those there for a minute. Look at my fingers. I'll show you that quickly. So that's half a sheet and this is the other half. Different design. Oh, I love this bit. Oh, I love this bit. I might just get my pokey tool out just to help me lift up these. There's something about lifting the mask off for that great reveal. I love the contrast. Love it, love it, love it. That is so cool. How cool is that? Um, I want to add something more. I'm tempted to heat embossed, but the thing is, what you might do is, because um, because you've been braying, the ink is still quite wet doing that. So, shall we do just another little tiny one? <laughs> let's, get, let's do another one. Should we do purples this time? Oh, thank you, everybody. You like that? Okay, we're going to do. I've got another idea. We'll do. Um, we'll do our poppies up here. One here. Similar design. One here. And I'm going to tuck this in here. <laughs> I love using all the stamps in my 
um, oh it's a bit of a squeeze but I'm going to fit them on there bring on this stamp here do one here one here okay and then I'm going to bring out this one to bring out all the stamps now if you've got a lot of stamps on your desk you might want to get a big block at the ready so that you can because you might need some of your blocks I'm going to get this one out here <laughs> a bit blocked fantastic here okay I'm going to use these group of poppies Move some of these up way. Um, now might be a good time to share if you haven't already, just because I'm just about to start another project. So um, sometimes it's annoying when you're halfway through and you're like, oh, what did she do? I missed that bit. Just saying, if you wanted to. <laughs> Hi there, Cindy. I wanted to add some something something at the bottom. So you say. And then I'm going to add some something something to the top. Because I can. In fact, what we could do is do a border, as in a border. Maybe that'd be too much. Let's let's not overdo it. Don't get carried away. Okay, so let's get our masks out. Let's find some decent ones that haven't been used loads. Hmm. Like that one. <laughs> and that one. Okay, so I'm thinking like purpley, purpley colours. Oh, did you hear my back crunch? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that totally freaks you out, back crunching. Okay, I'm thinking... Oh, oh, oh. Well, look, I can't even move here. Right, let's just... Maybe a little touch of blackberry bliss on rich raspberry. Maybe throw in. Do you know what I do like? I do like a bit of that with it. But should we stick to put? Let's not stick to purples. Let's just caution to the wind and all. Okay. So look, we can take our thing midjigs off, sponges off. What's happening to all my comments? Come on, let's keep up. <laughs> just got this set and have only made two cards. Excited to try some of your designs. Why? Thank you. I can't, I, I think I use quite a lot of my other, I made some simple card designs and I think I've used them for customer cards already so I can't even show you, but um, I think these are a bit purpley so we'll just use these. So it's beautiful blackberry bliss, it's gorgeous deep purple. I know I'm going sideways this time just to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> now I'm going to... Try, try not get inky fingers everywhere. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> I'm going to go about there, I think. I'm not going to overdo that. And I want a really nice concentrate of blackberry bliss right in the bottom, covering those poppies. Now that black ink shines through, which is great. Let's, let's bring you in a little way. <laughs> okay, extreme close-up. There we go. Okay. Okay, that'll do. And in fact, I might just, I'm going to just run off the colour on my scratch sheet here and see if I can pick up this next colour because it's a similar colour. Similar but different. Hopefully. Sorry, I keep getting caught in my wire. I'm trying to charge my phone at the same time. Make sure it doesn't lose battery on me. I'm going to start, okay, roll off first. And just go on gently, start midway. So hopefully the colour difference will come out. So keep roll over the bit that you've done. Okay, you want to disguise that bit. You're trying to avoid the streaks. If and where pos. Okay, I think that will, I might even go this way. Because I can. Sometimes that helps with streaks. Just go the opposite way. Um, hey there, Christine. And then I'm going to go in with... Oh, look, we've got another handle in here. This is a sort of pinky sponge, isn't it? Let's add a bit of 
Mambo. Hey, Mambo. Let's mix that one up a little bit and do this and that and the other. So again, starting off your page and then rolling on your page. I'm just going to put that... Ah, come on. Nothing wants to work for me. Just want something to hold on to. Oh, did you see that I lifted up? Ooh. Oh, it's like a sunset. I wanted something to hold on to. I'm working at a really odd angle here. What am I doing? Right, again, I want to concentrate that mambo at the top half. Merge it in nicely. Hi there, Leslie. Hi, Esther. Love this poppy stamp. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's all those lovely lines and things. Now, oh, we didn't use this yet. So while I've got my masked image, let's add some split splatters. Go a bit wild. Steady on. There we go. Now, the other thing I'm desperate to do which might ruin it, but you know, it's all about experimenting. Let's get some water. I'm going to flick some water on. And what this does, it kind of soaks up the ink. In fact, look. Okay, why does it do that? I press the screen and it goes like really close up. I might just pick out a little bit. I don't know if this will work. I'm colouring in the poppies to see if it will take off some of the colour. Like I said, it might totally not work. But if it does, you've got me to thank. <laughs> might have to give that a chance to try. Might not work. Um, right, I really want to do some noisy heat embossing. So what have I done with my uh, red please? It's all right saying we're going to do heat embossing but what have I done with my powders? There you are. <laughs> my drawer doesn't want to shut now. So because this is very inky, you want to give it a good dusting over with your embossing buddy. Oh, sorry about the close-up. It's just, you know, it's not happening tonight, is it? Now I'm thinking... Oh, do we go... Oh, no, it's going... Oh, I thought my something was coming then. But I'm going to give this a good pat and a dusting over. Because it, and it is wet. Do we want this? <coughs> oh, the house dust is getting to me from my... Uh... Look, it kind of worked. Can you see that on the poppies? Oh, it's soaked up. The water soaked up. The colour. Um, and then we need our Versamark ink. And I'm going to use the leaf. And I need something to clean my stamp off. Mm. Um... I don't know where it is right now. That'll do. That'll do. Oh look, it's my old one anyway. <laughs> uh, a bit unprepared for this, wasn't I? Whose idea was it to emboss, eh? And I want to do... Take some of this ink off of here. Bang, bang, bang. Be careful of the pot, don't spill it. 
can add just a bit of something something right yes you can't see it but it will all be revealed in just a second Just part of the process. Okay, so I can see I've smudged a bit here. Let's rub that off. That off. Okay, here it goes. Let's get this melted. I'm hoping that mask has held up and it isn't going to intrude the flower underneath. Just to give it some detail. Okay. Now the other thing before I, <laughs> I'm keeping you all in suspense, I'm going to grab out my strawberry card, put it on there first, so you get a nice complete look of a product. Okay, the bit you've been waiting for. Da -da -na -na -na. Okay, I've got a bit of, there's a bit of powder under there, that's all for you. This is why I smudge it. Oh, low battery. Okay, that's all right. I got fifteen percent. Whoa! <laughs> How fun is that? So just stepping it up, adding a little bit more detail, but keeping that striking black and white effect. So if you missed it earlier, we started off fairly simple tonight. Just really simple. One poppy, a couple of leaves, and go the way. And then we tried it out with a few more poppies in the blue. Let's come out a bit. Let's see if I can master the zooming. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Look, cooperate, please, because I'm trying to thank you. There's something rather mesmeric about Is that a word? I know what you mean, mesmerizing. Like it, like it says, Linda. Heat embossing adds just that something, something. Now, what you can do is go in with your wink of Stella. Now, I, I'd be tempted not to touch the poppies, but if you wanted to add that extra something, you can go in with the leaves and add a little bit of glittery detail. Now, can you see it is picking up a bit of the ink? But I'm risking it for a biscuit for the sake of my video. <laughs> I'm blending in that colour a bit, so that will dry out. That's not going to say that, but you just get, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm here now, I might as well do this. <laughs> Got a little bit of splatter with the, I mean, if you're going to have glitter, you might as well just, you know, I'm trying to avoid the poppies a little bit. <sighs> the, the shine, the shimmer, like a magpie. Now, I'm not a bling a bling girl, but I do like a little bit of sparklage. Oh, <laughs> there. How fun was that? Really just stepping up our game by turning it into a card and doing something with it. So I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed tonight's live. Oh, my screen is telling me that um, it's gone all really blurry. <laughs> I hope it's not as um, fuzzy for you. As I can see it on my screen, I'm hoping it might be to do with the reception. I'm really sorry if that comes out fuzzy. But um, I'll pop it onto my Facebook page um, and I'll, there'll be a photo of the, um, when I get around to doing the thumbnail. So there we go. That's tonight's live. I'm usually around on Tuesday evenings at the same time, about nine o'clock UK time here on YouTube. Um, I start off on Facebook and then I hop over to YouTube. So don't forget, I'm putting in an order this Friday if anybody, yeah, it's 30, Friday 31st, if anybody do like anything that's in the UK, you can order through me, so do get in touch, and uh, what else is there to say? 
and yeah do subscribe to my channel if you're not already thank you for those of you who already follow and comment and support my business thank you so much if you have super chatted me tonight i really appreciate that so thank you thank you thank you thank you for those who've got through the video and watching this on replay so i'm gonna head off and clear my messy desk um th thank you for watching me live and you don't comment don't feel scared to comment you can you know, say hello and join in the conversation. It's not an exclusive club. It's great to um, see you if you're watching and hear from you if you are, or if you've got any questions particularly as well. So take care, have a good evening or good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. You're very welcome, everybody. Take care, God bless. Bye for now. My inky fingers. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Connie, you're welcome. Thanks, Alan Kay and everybody who's commenting. Bye.